All right, YouTube, I've got a good one for you guys today. The three best secrets to make that butt grow. But before I give you those three best secrets, let's talk about why most people struggle with this. Now, I've been training clients for well over 15 years, so I've had hundreds of clients come to me looking to build a better butt. Super common, but let's talk about why they struggle. Most people know what exercises to do to hit your butt. They're all over the internet. If you Google butt exercises, you'll get a plethora of all these different movements. But why are we still struggling with building this muscle? There's a couple different reasons why. The main one is we have a neurological disconnect. What does that mean? Almost everybody suffers from some sort of what we call lower cross syndrome. So what lower cross syndrome looks like, it's, and I'm gonna exaggerate this so you kind of get an idea what this looks like. It's where we walk around like this where we stick our butts out like that. And everybody's got a little bit of that. Most people have quite a bit. And what that does, okay, so if you pay attention, if my, if my pelvis, okay, starts to rotate out this way, right, what ends up happening is I put a lot of my weight over on my quads and my hip flexors, so they become very dominant. They take over when I walk, when I move, and when I squat and I do exercises that my glutes should. Your glutes are part of the posterior chain, so the backside, and that should be the prime mover when we do these exercises. But when we've trained our body to use its quads and hip flexors and all these movements, and then you go over to do these exercises, they're still gonna take over. So what we need to do is we first need to fix the neurological disconnect, right? We need to get reconnected with our butt before we can expect it to grow. So that's the first big mistake. The other big mistake that people make is they think that lifting lots of repetitions that make the butt feel like it's burning is gonna help it grow. This couldn't be further from the truth. Just like if a guy was trying to build his bicep or build his chest, lifting heavy weight is actually what's gonna really stimulate your muscle to grow, especially if you're someone that's been doing a lot of reps. Now, if you're somebody who lifts strongman type lifts and you always lift one to three to five repetitions, this may not be as beneficial to you, but most people that I've ever trained that were trying to build their butt, they were doing high repetitions, supersets, back to back of all these isolating movements to isolate the butt. The isolating butt movements are good to prime the butt, but they're not ideal to build the butt. So hang in there all the way till the end of the video, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you guys the exact prescription of how many reps and sets to do before you guys get to the actual workouts. But let's address these three prime movements that I absolutely love. All right, the three movements I'm gonna show you guys right here, none of them are revolutionary, none of these movements are brand new, but it's how you do them that are extremely important. So pay attention. The intent is everything, especially when we're talking about a poor neurological connection, because what's gonna happen if you just go through the movements and you don't pay attention to what we're doing, then what will happen is your body will always go to the default patterns. It will start to use the muscles, like we were talking about earlier, in your quads, your hip flexors, and they'll take over the movement because they are still part of the movement. And with most people, it's dominant, but it shouldn't be dominant. The glute should be. So I'm gonna show you a floor bridge, but pay close attention to a couple things. So this is a floor bridge. We want our knees bent at about a 90 degree angle, our feet about shoulder width apart. Then I wanna lie all the way back. I wanna tuck my chin down. The biggest key right here, pay attention. Right here on my low back, most all of us will have a slight anterior pelvic tilt like we talked about earlier, okay? And there's gonna be this gap. I can actually reach my hand underneath here because I actually suffer from this and I have to work on this all the time. So what I wanna do before I do the floor bridge, I wanna take my low back and I wanna press it down. So I'm gonna press my low back flat. Right away you should feel your core and your abs engaged just to keep you into that neutral position. While I stay with my back pressing flat, core's tight, then I wanna lift up and I wanna squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes to the top, come back down. When you come back down, pay attention to that arch, keep it flat, so press it flat, keeping the abs tight, and then lift up. Very important to do this slow and controlled. We're gonna do this movement first for 10 repetitions. Slow and control, pause at the top, make sure you press the low back flat, and then we're gonna move to the second movement. The second movement, very similar to this. All the same rules apply. We're gonna press the low back flat. The only thing different is we're gonna do what they call butterfly or frog pumps, where we're actually gonna put our heel, our toes together. We're gonna open our knees up. Now, what we're doing now, the, the butt, okay, the glute, has got three primary parts of it, right? So you have the glute, med, the minimus, and the maximus. 
by us opening the knee, opening the knees up, we're gonna start to engage the glute med, which is the outside, which gives you that shape of the butt like this, right? So everybody, you don't want just a butt that is nice and round the back. You also wanna be able to kind of see it from the front side, kind of get it on the side like that. That's the glute med that looks that way. We wanna get that activated since that's an area that a lot of people are disconnected because a lot of people pronate in their feet which internally rotates the femur, which basically shuts off that glute med. That glute med is responsible for externally rotating, which very few people actually have that problem. It is, some do, but very few people have that. So most people have a hard time connecting to the glute med, which is also why they feel this exercise so much. So just because you feel this exercise like crazy doesn't necess necessarily mean that it's going to build a great butt. What it's helping us do and why it's a great move, it's helping us get reconnected to that part of your boot, butt, boot, your butt, before we move on to the movement that's really gonna grow that butt. So, same idea, tuck the chin, I wanna flatten the back, now my knees are open, and I'm gonna bridge up again. And like I said, most people, when they do this, you're gonna really feel the butt light up. And that's just because, for a long time, you've probably been disconnected there, and now we're getting neurologically connected again. All right, movement number three, the Bulgarian split squat. Now, when we do this, we're gonna use it a little bit differently. So normally when I teach the Bulgarian split squat, we're using this for a strength building exercise, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to prime the glutes this time. So we're not gonna use any weight. And again, the intent is very important. So pay, pay attention to a couple things. You're gonna watch my knees, my ankles, the tempo, and the key when you get started, I think where most people fumble around on this movement is getting into the right position. So I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to get into this. We're gonna use a incline bench that I have that has a nice little soft thing for my ankle. You can use a, a medicine ball, you can use a step that's a foot to two feet, just depends uh, on the person and what's comfortable for you. I like these because my ankle can rest on them. I used to use leg extension machines inside the gym. Most gyms too have little accessories where you can do these. So the key to getting into this I wanna start from the bottom. I think the biggest mistake people get themselves into the split and they're hopping around to get you right in the right position. You wanna kneel down first. I'm gonna put my ankle around whatever is supporting. So in this case, we're using the incline bench to support. Then I wanna get my, my lead foot out in front of me. So I should be able to look down and see that my knee is not way over my toe to start off with, but then I don't want it all the way back to where when I come out of this, my ankle is gonna come off the ground. So I want about a 90 degree bend. I feel nice and comfortable sitting in this position. So you wanna find where you're comfortable first so we can really concentrate on driving off the heel and the glutes and then the knee and the ankle. So pay attention. Most people, when they come out of this, right away, the first thing that's gonna happen is the knee's gonna to wanna to collapse in. And that's because most people have an issue with pronating of the feet. When the feet pronate in, then the femur internally rotates, and then now this drops in. Now what sucks about this is that shuts off the glute med. We're trying to build a butt, right? We wanna have a good, we want, we want our glute med activated. So we wanna make sure that we keep the knee open. Okay, so when you come up, right away, I'm already thinking about keeping the knee out. As I come down, nice and slow and controlled, keeping the knee pushed out, not allowing it to collapse in. And you'll feel, if you let it collapse in, right away you'll feel that on the hip flexor, versus when I push the knee out, I can feel that glute med kicking in. And nice and slow and controlled, it's not about how many repetitions, this is not about how much heavy weight we can do, even if you can do a lot of weight doing this, we're just trying to get neurologically connected to those glutes before we go do the real moves that are gonna grow the glutes. All right, the three movements that I taught you guys, couple things, one, it's not about lifting heavy, two, the intent of the movement, what we're focusing on while we do the movement, and three, you don't wanna fatigue the muscle. This is probably the biggest mistake that I see girls doing inside the gym, is they're doing glute kicks like crazy, they're pumping like crazy, high repetitions. The body gets adapted to that very quick, it's not gonna build a lot of muscle. You start flirting with more aerobic than anaerobic, and if we wanna build the glute, it is a muscle, so we wanna do a lot of strength building exercises to grow the butt. So the three moves I just gave you, these aren't exercises for you to fatigue on, these are exercises to help get you neurologically connected, and then you're gonna do the moves that really grow the butt, which refer to our other videos that we have on here. We have a ton of videos for your butt, but you'll see us talking about squats, all the different variations, deadlifting, all the different variations, good mornings. Those are the type of good movements that are really gonna grow your butt. But this is a great way to prime your butt before you go into the glute exercises. 
So you guys will see in the comments below, I'm gonna show you guys how many repetitions. So each exercise we just did, we'll do one after another, no rest in between, five to 10 repetitions on each side. So the Bulgarian split squat, we do your right leg and your left leg. So I wanna do five to 10 reps on each side. With the floor bridges, we want 10 and 10 of each. I'm gonna do that for one round, and then I'm gonna go do a big compound lift. So right after I would do those three movements, I'd give myself about a minute to 90 second rest, and then I'm gonna go right into my barbell squats. Again, after I do that one round, then I rest completely, go back to those movements again until you start to feel the connection. If you do a really good job after your first, second, or third set of leg exercises that you're doing, you'll really start to feel the glutes kick in. Listen, if this video helps you guys out, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share.